This whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me This video is all about every piece of camera gear that I use to make these YouTube videos. If you like the look, if you like the sound, if you care about all of the stuff that goes into making cool YouTube videos, this video is for you. If you're into guitars and not cameras, hopefully this is interesting, um, but this one is just nerdy and wonderful. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. Maybe the best Christmas present I received this year was this new camera bag from my wife. About a year ago, I added this tripod. Uh, this is a three-legged thing. It is a wonderful tripod. Uh, I, I mean, it's not perfect. I've had a couple complaints with it. Um, the biggest one is that these rollers, even though they're helpful, they always seem to come loose. And so a lot of times, if I've been using the tripod for a while and I go to set it up, it'll just start leaning. Oh, there's the microphone. But yeah, this is the Travis from Three-Legged Thing. My camera body is a 6D Mark II from Canon. I love this camera. Uh, it's just built like a tank. It works really well. There are plenty of people that aren't uh, plussed or, you know, there were mixed reviews on this camera when it came out. But I'm over two years in. It has done every single thing I've ever wanted it to do. It's done it gracefully. Uh, and it has just been a wonderful uh, piece of gear for me to really learn how to use a camera well. I know where every button is on this camera. I can run this camera in my sleep. This is the Canon 35mm f1.4. This is just so ridiculously smooth and crispy in the middle. Uh, if you notice that my shots really changed a couple months ago in like September, it was because of this lens. This lens gives me amazing separation from the background, beautiful bokeh, and it's just really stepped up my game. What's cool is I bought that used new. I think that lens is like $1,800, $2,000. I bought it used from a guy for $650 because photographers, unlike guitar players, actually make enough money that they get money back out of their gear. It is perfect for my talking head kind of interview type shot here in the basement. My other lens, and I've gone back and forth. This is the second one of these I've owned, um, but this lens is here. This is completely utilitarian. It's not as fancy or showy as I hoped or what I typically would be drawn to, but this is the Canon 24 to 105 F4 IS. This lens isn't particularly fast, and if you don't know what camera language means in fast, it doesn't mean the iris of this does not open very large. So this is an f4, which means this is not a good lens for low light. This lens is really not good for this basement because it's just too dark. But this lens is really diverse and really wonderful outside. What's cool is that it is a 100 mil zoom, 105 mil so I can go from a pretty wide shot, uh, which is about as wide as I need, all the way into a really good zoomed in shot. Um, this lens, paired with an ND filter, allows me to bring down the amount of light outside so I can still keep things looking really good. So a lot of outdoor shots, if you see me you know, walking around downtown, um, it's gonna be with this lens because it's just a really helpful, um, diverse kind of lens. This is the Canon EF 85mm 1.8. So this is, again, this is a very affordable lens, like 300 bucks, but this lens is just crispy, beautiful, like giant, um, a really good uh, piece of glass. And so what I, I mean, this is my favorite for portraits because outside of guitar stuff, I still do a ton of photography. And so I love this for portraits. It's really great at kind of poking into a little scene and catching kind of intimate small details and then blurring out everything that you're not uh, supposed to be looking at or drawing attention to. Um, this is just the king of B-roll. The other super exciting thing, and I've just started to use this more, is uh, a drone. So this is a DJI Mini. 
So this was a gift from my brother-in-law, just a wonderful, kind gift. And uh, so he knows that this would be immediately helpful to me and my YouTube channel. So I got this. I am just really learning how to use it. Fun fact, uh, the software needed updating. It was raining outside. I turned it on in the basement the other day and uh, it was pretty awesome. There are two more pieces of gear that I absolutely cannot make these videos without. The first one is this. This is my Zoom H5 recorder. This is the most helpful tool for me to capture how guitars actually sound. Now there is a much fancier way that I could record audio. I could use a DAW, I could use a studio setup, but there are two main reasons I don't. One, that's not my style. I've never been that interested in home recording. Uh, and by and large, um, it feels disingenuous. And that leads me to my second reason, which is I you can make most guitars sound amazing in a mix, in a recording with good mics, with all that stuff. And so for me, I've always wanted to stick to as honest of a representation as I can. So that's why I use the Zoom. Uh, most of the time I use the XY mics because they sound really good and it sounds very much like the guitar in itself. And it's helpful having the two mics and the stereo set up uh, so that you get as true of an acoustic guitar sound as you can. On the electric guitars, I also use this with a, with an SM57 uh, running straight in front of the mic, and then I'll run that into one of the inputs here on the bottom. This is a lifesaver. Uh, my brother recommended that I get this. He's a big podcaster in Australia. And so this has just been my ride or die. Um, this is a really powerful piece of gear. And the other piece of gear is actually, you're hearing it right now. It's just out of frame right here. And that is the Deity D3. I first got this to just be a good shotgun mic for sitting on top of the camera while I was out and about doing vloggy videos. Um, but what I found is if I got a 25 foot uh, headphone cable, I was able to use this as my overhead. Again, saving money because I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on another shotgun. In the last few months, my audio quality has really come up and it is largely because of using this microphone right out of frame in pretty much every shot. Those are the main things I carry in the camera bag. The only thing in addition, I have a 2016, um, this is a MacBook Pro, uh, 13 inch. Uh, this has a 500 gig solid state drive. And then in addition to that, I have two, uh, two terabyte drives. I just filled one up, I'm on to my second one. So this is all of my everyday camera gear. If I'm going to go film a video, this is basically the stuff. Now the computer will stay home, the drone, some sometimes comes, uh, but overall this is the stuff that rides with me every day. But there's a whole new realm of photography that I've gotten into and you've seen some of these videos on and I want to show those to you right now. Over the last few years I've been really hooked on old cameras and I don't shoot film, but what I found a couple years ago was that there are certain lenses uh, that can really easily be adapted onto modern bodies. And I've been hooked by the idea of this. Um, and so my favorite kinds of lenses are all M42 mounts. So these came on old Pentax cameras. Uh, there are a bunch of different bodies that, that offered this kind of lens mount, but it's really easily adapted. So basically for five bucks, seven bucks, you can get an adapter. It's just a metal ring. It's the screw on the back of the lens on one side, and then it's the Canon EF mount on the other. And so really seamlessly, I can take an old lens, and put it on a new body. This is the Helios 44-2. You can get these for, at the time I got this one, you can get it for like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, now they're probably 50, 60 bucks. They're very cool. Um, so they're all manual. They're an F2. So the Helios 44-2, this is a Takamar. Takamar, if you're talking screw mount 42, M42 lenses, this is about the coolest and the best line. So this is a 105 millimeter. 
and it's an f2.8. So this is really zoomed in and it's a pretty fast lens. You can see there's a big hunk of glass. The other one, this is the lens I use absolutely the most on my channel. Um, this is one I got about a year ago. This is a Super Takamar Macro. Actually, it's a Macro Takamar. So made in Japan in the 1960s, 1970s. What's cool about this is that this lens is a proper macro lens. So if you've seen shots where I get super close to bridge saddles, nut slots, strings while they're being restrung, that's this lens. Um, so this is an F4. So this lens requires a lot of light, but I have never ever, ever found a lens that is sharper than this. This lens is preposterously sharp. Um, when I do it on guitar stuff, it's like you can see every wrap in a guitar string. You can see every screw, uh, every thread in a screw. It's just very cool. So now that's all the camera gear kind of lives over there, but I would also be remiss if I didn't talk about my lights. So here's one of the lights here and then another over here. This is the Godox, the SL60, the SL60W. And then in here, this is just, that's basically just an LED bulb in one of these soft boxes. There is another piece of gear that has really changed the look and feel of my videos over the last couple months. And uh, I think you should know about it. It's very cool. It is this LED panel back behind me. It can be any color that I want it to be. And so that's what's so cool is I can literally change it to whatever. So these LEDs, they're very cool, um, this light panel, but it's just too bright. So even if I turn this lamp off, it's still all of this is just blown out. So I'd have to go either really move up my shutter speed uh, to where it doesn't quite look right, or if I bring this back, and then I bring the f-stop up. I mean, what's the point of having super fast fun lens if I'm back to a shot like this? So that's why this LED panel is so cool for me. I can turn a bunch of lights down. So if I turn this off, all of a sudden I'm back to a really good looking shot and, uh, and it's not crazy. So LED panel, this is a newer. Um, I think I got this on a crazy deal. I signed up on Amazon for like, let me know what things in my cart are for sale. And it uh, let me know that this was for sale for 80 bucks. I think it's normally 150 bucks. I really wanted an aperture, but I just can't afford it. I mean, it's so expensive. Like the aperture, the 120, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And so what I found was with this, I got it for 130 bucks. And then I got this diffuser. I got the smaller diffuser on this guy um, because it's just so freaking expensive. I'm super happy. I really like the look. Um, I think if you're trying to do videos, you really could just do like softbox, LED panel. Just pay attention, watch a couple videos on three point lighting. Let's go to party mode. So party mode, there you go. There will be links for all of this stuff. Uh, if you're looking for photography, if you have questions, there are tons of great YouTube channels. Peter McKinnon is obviously easy. Matteo Poya is wonderful. Um, there are so many great photography YouTube channels. I watch a ton of them. I've tried to make my channel the best I can, even with my deeply frugal streak that doesn't ever want to spend money on stuff that isn't guitars. Um, I have done everything at like the most affordable version of what it is, and I'm very proud of the quality of videos that I'm able to put out. So if you dig these videos, uh, you can support the channel in a couple different ways. Just hit like, subscribe to the channel if you like guitars, if you like cameras, if you like friendship, if you think that that's a good thing for the world. Other ways you can support the channel. There's merch in the store, jeremythegutarhunter.com slash shop. Uh, you can also become a patron. And this video is brought to you by my patrons. So thanks, Adam. Thanks, Gary. Uh, oh, I just added a third. Oh, I'll put it right here. I'm very sorry. I forgot the name, but I now have three ride or die patrons. These are friends of the channel who are just active. You are in my brain trust and I can't do this without you. So thanks for supporting. Anyway, hope you make awesome videos. If you're into videos, if you have questions about cameras, let me know. All right. Super fun. See you later. Thanks for watching a different kind of video on this channel.